Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks Training, I'm going to show you how to connect your bank credit card uh, with your QuickBooks file. So in this example, I'm going to use my Bank America Alaska Airlines credit card, and I'm going to download those transactions into my QuickBooks 2019 for Mac. So to do this, I'm going to start by clicking on Banking on the top of my screen, and then I'm going to go down to Online Banking Setup. I'm going to search for my bank by using the search field in the upper right-hand corner. In my case, it's Bank America. I'm going to click Next once I find my bank. And then I have two options. I can either do a direct connect or a web connect. I've not signed up for any sort of direct connect with my bank accounts, so instead I'm going to use a web connect file. A web connect file takes just a little bit more time, um, but as just described down here, it's usually free. I'm going to go ahead and select next. Next thing it tells you is that you need to go to your bank's website to download the data, and then you can import it into your QuickBooks. So if I click on website, it's going to take me to here, which I've already done. So I'm signed into my QuickBooks file. Those of you who use Bank America, you'll know that your card balance is often different than your corporate balance. I'm gonna to go to my card. Even though I have one credit card in my pocket, I have two things here. I'm gonna click on the card because I want the transactions. If I click on the corporate, all that's gonna give me is the, um, the payments made to my credit card, whereas the actual card will show me the transactions on my card. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to select download in the upper right, well, kind of in the middle right hand side. And then I'm going to say current transactions and the file type I want is a web connect file for QuickBooks. So your clue here is that it's a QuickBooks file, but also that it's a web connect and we just went through the, the steps and saw we were looking for a web connect file. I'm going to say download transactions. It's going to download them for me. So now I've downloaded my transactions from Bank America. I'm going to go ahead and upload them into my QuickBooks. I'm going to start by clicking on Banky on the top of my screen. And then I'm going to go down to Downloaded Transactions. It's going to bring me this little pop-up that I'm going to click Cancel on. And then I'm going to click on this paper with a sideways arrow and then upload the file. This is the file that I just downloaded from my bank. Um, I know that because it's today's date. So I'm going to go ahead and click on open and it's going to say credit card number, your type, your credit card, and it says where would you like to put this in your QuickBooks file? And my answer is I would like to put it in my Bank America Alaska Airlines account. If you didn't already have an account set up in QuickBooks for this uh, downloaded data file, you could select new, but I have one. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And then I get this notification down at the below that says that QuickBooks has imported three transactions. So if I scroll, I can see my three transactions, and then I can go ahead and add stuff individually. So the first thing I see is that I spent money for streak. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type streak in the payee section. I can see that I don't currently have streak, so I'm going to go ahead and click away, and that's going to give me a chance to add them to my payee list. I'm just going to choose quick add. They're a vendor. Okay. And then why did I give them money? For office supplies. The next one I see is raw shorts. So I'm going to go ahead and add them just the same as before. I'm going to choose quick add. And they're a vendor. And we'll call them office supplies. And then Upwork. Do quick add and OK. And we'll call this professional fees. And then I'm just going to say add multiple because I would like all three of these things to be added to my Alaska Airlines register at once. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now when I look at my Alaska Airlines register, I can see all these things have appeared. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'd love to help you if I can. Thanks.